Grace and peace be multiplied to each of you this morning in the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. If you take your copy of God's word and be turning with me to Matthew chapter 5, permit me as you turn to take a moment to publicly express what a privilege and joy it is to worship with you this morning. I have an unspoken agreement with my congregation. They permit me during the week to speak here and there with the expectation that I will be in my own pulpit on Sunday mornings. There is just a handful of people who could get me out of my pulpit on the Lord's Day. Your pastor is one of them. <laughs> and it is a joy to have this opportunity to worship with you and to proclaim to you the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Would you bow with me? Our Father in heaven, we do indeed praise you for your manifold blessings to us. Above all, we praise you for the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our all-sufficient prophet, priest, and king. In his name we pray now that you would open our eyes that we may behold wondrous things from your word. Give us understanding and we will obey your word and keep it with our whole heart. I pray that you would guide my thoughts, guard my heart, govern my words, so that everything I say would be consistent with sound doctrine. And may Christ alone be exalted as the word is explained, we pray. Amen. In Matthew chapter 5, the Sermon on the Mount begins in verses 3 through 12 with the Beatitudes of Jesus. Blessings, Jesus announces, 